Hey, what's up y'all so it is oh it's 11 11 right now actually 11 11 i am actually about to go tour a suite because i am trying to find me a suite to um do hair ends yeah i'm really really excited really looking forward to it this one is like in the middle of the city the other one i had already looked at a few weeks ago is um like 15 minutes from my house currently on the way to get me a maya so he can come with me and that's just what we have in store for today this is about to be a collective vlog like um how my life has been since i quit and you know started taking this braiding thing seriously for real so i will let y'all know when i get nehemiah and we'll just go from there okay so it's like 2 15 i'm back home i just prepped for my next client i have the hair right here all my products and yeah outfits muscle tee these biker shorts and some uh, and some slides okay y'all so i'm about to give y'all some tips on how i achieve butterfly locks this is one out of three of my most popular styles that i do on clients so basically the hair i use the products I use, everything I will link down below in the description box, but I basically part the hair using the Edge Booster Pomade, not the gel y'all, the pomade. And then I use Hicks Edge Control to seal in the parts. And I then use the Springy Outro Twist by Expression and I braid the client's natural hair into it as if I'm doing a regular braid because I just noticed it's less painful that way. And then I take the free trust water wave. And uh, for this one, I use the extra long length. But if you're doing shoulder length, you can just use the regular 22 inch. So I take a crochet needle and I pull a strand, just one strand, y'all, of the free trust water wave. And I wrap it around the client's hair. And to create the butterfly effect that people have, uh, like, problems doing i just take my thumb and i wrap the hair around it i give y'all close-ups in the style as well so it can be easier for y'all to see but that's basically how i achieve a butterfly lock how i seal it i don't use glue i just take the remaining poofy hair at the end of the lock and use a little bit of it to wrap it back up to seal it so they don't come out or unravel and that's how you do a butterfly lock it's really really simple i promise how you do butterfly locks i just seal them blow dry them add some mousse add some oil and they have a beautiful outcome make sure y'all follow my instagram so y'all can go see the pictures all right y'all it's 10 14 and i'm currently on the way to chick-fil-a like two minutes from my house i'm still mad at this chick-fil-a but i'm gonna just go because it's closer than the other one i go to
investors. Them chats coming in, spending the nothing, go home and we make. Go, I shot up everywhere they would. Yeah, the bitch are really icy, really icy. Who shot see that's my dog. But who you gonna come get it back? Okay, y'all, it is so hot. Y'all, like, can see how my face is, like, so oily. My face, my skin don't ever get oily. But I just finished doing my knot list. Let's see. But I'm currently on the way to the hair store to get some hair for my clients for tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. So, yeah, that's where we're going right now. I'm not going to bring y'all in the hair store with me because my camera finna die. Okay, so it's the following day. This was literally a back-to-back -back video, y'all, so I barely had time to vlog for real. But I'm doing my auntie small texture locks, which is why she's not blown out. Make sure y'all still come blown out, please, and thank you. But I'm just going to do free parts slash seashell, seashell parts. I can't say that word to save my life. But that's basically what I'm doing. I don't really know how to explain how to do the seashell parts. Y'all just really kind of got to watch. And yeah. So I'm still using the same Hicks Edge Control slash Edge Booster mix. And I just start by parting her hair. And yeah, so y'all finna see me part her hair first. Okay, so now I'm basically showing y'all how I braid down and do the knotless lock method. So I basically braid the client's hair. It's probably like three or four stitches and then I just open up the crochet lock and I slip it onto one of the strands of hair like you see me doing right here. And then I just basically continue to braid down and I braid all the way down for protective reasons. Like you don't just want to leave a bunch of ends on your client's hair. So that's basically what you see me doing here. Life is good. Okay, so I realized I forgot to say what hair I use. So I'll once again link everything in the description box down below. But this is the free dress distress locked with curly ends at the bottom of it, and then I'm using the springy afro twist to wrap the hair around the lock. And that's basically the only two hairs that I use for the majority of this video, to be honest. Free dress and springy outro twist. Yeah, I ride for my niggas, I lie my bitch. We some poor high class niggas, maybe we rich. I was at the band, though, got a penthouse for a closet. It was like a shadow, feel on my neck, my shit. Ooh, I got pink toes that talk different languages. Ooh, got propellers in my blood, perfect. Raven Marshmallow on the beat. Okay, 
so I was able to give y'all a little bit of footage from the next morning but anyways right now I'm doing six stitch braids to the back with curly ends and curly pieces throughout so now I just honestly figured out how to do stitch braids so I wasn't really good with the angle or none of that like I was just trying to focus on doing the stitch braid so if this angle doesn't help some of y'all just make sure y'all comment down below and I do a more in-depth video <music> y'all so this is the final video of me doing hair this week um make sure y'all follow my hair page at naya's luck diary if y'all want more videos like this make sure you give this one a big thumbs up and comment down below if y'all want to see more stuff like this so basically knotless braids a tip is if y'all want to get good at stitch braids just do knotless braids over and over and over again because it really does help speed in method also make sure that you're adding in the hair if not on the first stitch the second stitch um whenever you're feeding in the hair because when the client's hair grows out you want you want it to grow with the braid you don't want to braid their real hair and then add the knotless hair because that's not the best way for the hair to grow out like damage and healthy wise so that's just a quick tip make sure y'all follow my instagram and naya's loves diary to see all the pictures from this video and yeah that's really all i gotta say with my baby i'm a gunner when i say baby i ain't talking about stunner i'm talking about low like wheezy wanna come up drip too hard got a zip too hard they gonna fuck around and drown off this way pretty little toes stunting on these hoes buy another bag soon as i get paid bad little vibe keep up by my side Here's a dirty bitch you gotta catch this fade do it all the time still i'm in my prime couple new blessings every time we pray trip too hard got his dick too hard they gonna fuck around and drown pretty little toes stunting on these hoes buy another bag bad little vibe keep up by my side Here's a dirty bitch you gotta catch this fade do it all the time still i'm in my prime couple new blessings every time we pray Blessings every time we pray.